But any of your shows, any TV shows, like what right do you now, like? Yeah, what's... right now I'm in uh, this show called Lost in Space. It's on Netflix. Okay. Uh, it's about literally being lost in space. They uh, <laughs> uh, they traveled. Their main purpose is to go to another planet to start a new colony and new uh, world for the for humans. Okay. And um, on the way there, they got lost, and uh, it's it's an interesting story. You know, interesting plot plot line. I like. I'm into aliens and okay. You like um, the sci-fi stuff. I and, like sci-fi okay, stuff, okay. and I like. Have you watched uh, like Ender's Game? No, I haven't seen Ender's Game yet. It's, I'm a very big on like uh, you know just my like it's yeah. So it's a it's I'm a gonna good check one. It out. I'm gonna Ender's check it out. Game. I just just to pick it back, but from the quick from the stuff you just said, which 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 ones are your like top five TV shows? Top five TV shows. I'm just trying to see like I write stuff down. Uh, Beef is one of them. Beef. Uh, you ever heard of Beef? No. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it was on Netflix. It was hot this summer. Uh, I binge watched that in like a week. Um, beef, was good. Uh, <laughs> beef was good. Beef was good. I actually, Lost in Space is one of my okay, top Lost shows. Okay, Lost in Space. Yes. Lost top five. Um, Lupin. Yep, yeah, I watched that one. Yep, yeah, yeah. Lupin. Uh, yeah. Great guy, by the way. This great, guy. Great. I met him on, at the All Star. Really? Hopefully, he gets, uh, I get him one time on, on the pod. Hey, shout out to my guy. Yeah, Lupin, it, he, bro. He... Fire. The way he started and the way he, what he's doing now, yeah. what he has in store, the projects are off the charts, off bro. The charts. Off the charts. And then uh, last would be uh, Money Heist. Money Heist. Yeah, yeah, with the professor and all that. That's my, my, my shit. You know who's uh, uh, one of my guys? So you know Berlin? Yeah. So, like, I've had a, a guy who's he, he's from Serbia. Like, he's yeah. Dargo. And he was saying when... He actually shot the, my first, my brother's, so my older brother actually, that's after beat. Right. I don't know if you ever heard any of his yeah, songs. So, yeah. And he shot, he shot like a video with like, with my brother and he was like, he flew in degrees yeah. and like, that's dope. You know, yeah, that's it, dope. it was dope. I was Where like, bro, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you the, the video as well. So, okay, back to basketball, I'm going, you know, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it like, I like it. ping pong. I, like right? it. I love it. So back to basketball, top five shooters. Who's your, your shooter? Who's your like top five top shooters? Top five shooters. I got to throw Ray Allen in there. Okay. And hopefully I'll be his record. So that's huge for me. Uh, yes, the record is uh, five, the most games with five threes or more in a season. And I'm two games away from it. So um, I'm about to get a little aggressive soon uh, if I don't get it. <laughs> uh, but no, um, Ray Allen, uh, I got to say Stephen Curry. Um, you that's know, man, Steph. I'm going to go with some... Obviously, they're not underrated, but people wouldn't say them first. Kyle Culver and J.J. Redick. Kyle Culver I actually and JJ. Uh, did um, ask J.J. Redick a bunch of stuff, and he helped me out. Man, shout so, out to J.J. and yeah, the pod so, and everybody there. Yeah, so, hey, sir. Tommy. Yeah, my sir. guy, Tommy Alter, yeah. please stitch this. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, so, shout out to J.J. for that. And uh, last but not least, Mike Miller. Mike Miller. Mike man. Miller. I worked out with him one summer, and his, his work was way different than anybody else's. And Mike would Miller, know, he, he was a rookie of the year. We call him White Chocolate, man. That's White Chocolate right there. <laughs> you know, now, this is this is the thing. You saw, I think, my, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he has a new... Agency? No, no, new uh, pod. My OG movie? show, yeah, new oh, podcast. I gotta check it out. Him and, and my other guy that, bro, you don't understand how much I love you, Dennis yeah. Hoslin, bro. Yeah. And they, like, they get into it. Like, That's so I'm, I'm, I'm... And, you know, this is my podcast. I'm, yeah. I always, like... I don't have the keep it you know, light. Yeah, you yeah. know, like like my podcast. You know how people don't talk about other podcasts. Right. Whatever, like, yeah. no, I'm to tell the I was now yeah. always like anything I love because I take my that's audience why, and go like. That's why I'm here right now, brother. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. show love. You show love. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Mike Miller, Ray Allen, Steph K. Yeah. Um, then you said Kyle Corver, yeah. Kyle Corver, and JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick. Kyle Corver actually used to be teammates with Kyle. Like, bro, yeah, great dude, great dude, great Did dude. You, but from all of them, like, I feel like, you know, Steph has, Steph and his brother Seth, bro, they can't both shoot. Like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Seth, it is crazy. <laughs> Seth can shoot. Uh, they've changed the game. Like, they yeah. changed, like, the they game, They changed bro. the game for sure. And brought in Trey Young and he changed the game more. Yeah, so they just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just continued. To, the game has changed. It's more faster, more threes. You know what I'm saying? Um, should we play the, we play Cleveland tomorrow and they got the they shoot the most trees in the league. Yes, so, yes. Uh the game has changed, man, but you know that and and we just try to adjust to it as the game changes. Cause when I first came in, we was posting up. Like that was normal. 
you know, with our team, it's normal for us because we got Giannis and Bobby, <laughs> but man, and, and, and K-Mid, but uh, posting up nowadays, is, is, you barely see that. You barely see you that. Barely they see used that. to tell you, like, you got to learn how to play with your back behind the learn. basket because when you get older, that's how you grow up. Exactly. You're going to bug him down. Exactly. Hey, uh, exactly. Bug him now, down for work and play. Now all we got is pick and rolls, my boy. Oh, pick and rolls and handoffs. It, it is different. I had uh, and split action. The, and you know who dissected this very well it was Mon Shepard. He was like just dissecting like, how the game and how like this whole series between the Cavs and the Warriors and, and what did they disliked about the Warriors. And it was like we're playing the Warriors. They they they, they really like he's whoever wins. Like right. that's how basketball is gonna be. Yeah, you know. And the it was so much truth in it. Like guys coming in and all these things. And 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 I had a podcast with Dame and Dame said. Is this three people who've been shooting from deep? Like I and I put yeah. sometimes I put LeBron there too right. as well because he'd be sometimes he'd be looking at the ball yeah. and they shoot right. it. But then he was like, yo, he don't really leave out there like like yeah. Dame, yeah. Trey, yeah. And Steph. Like those, those three those guys three bro. shoot the ball from half court. With two consistently, minutes, like live out there with seven minutes left to go in the game, with twenty four seconds on the shot clock, they, they'll shoot that. <laughs> you know, which is which is a uh, I can only imagine me as a. I said, you know, my, my style is different how I play and how I, like, look at the game. But for you, I can only imagine a shooter saying, like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, it's, it's like it's somebody saying, like, oh, yeah, I just saw a behind-the-back dunk. Or, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. But that's for cool. you, it's different. It's like, yeah, yeah, I just made it from... All right. <laughs> I just made it from half court, no, without ease. With ease. Without ease, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. I have another question for you, but, bro, I have, I have so many, but I'm just... Try to really keep it so the audience and the and people yeah, who are watching can kind of yeah. kind of follow and everything. What What are some of the questions that people ask you about me? Like I, I heard, bro, it was crazy. They had some crazy some, questions. I, I, heard I gotta some. ask the, produ the producer team. Hold on, I gotta get my phone. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, I gotta do this. Uh, did you tell Jay one of them? Yeah, I told Jay the, one of them. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to? You want to? I say, I say. Well, let me tell you about where I got the shimmy from. So in Utah, oh the shimmy, yeah. The, the, but this is late. It was going to be later on. But now I want you to tell me about to tell the not me the fans, the fans. about this because they don't know what it is. So what it is was when Jay Z, uh, when I was playing in Utah, Jay Z was playing in the background. That's my favorite artist, and I had to do like an ISO, yes, and step back and made it. And they called a timeout, and the music was still playing. So I was like, "Ooh, let's get it." This jiggle. And it just came. Utah loved it, and I just stuck with it. And then uh, I got to LA. They called the Doug Shake, and then um, <laughs> it's just the shimmy, man. We call it the Beasley shimmy. You get down with it, man. You knock down a three, and it was a big three. I don't do it every three. It has to be a timeout or a big three. You know what I'm saying to pull it out. So that's where I got it from, man. That's <laughs> good. It's good because they, everybody's been my Twitter's on yeah, I know, fire. I know. I know. Fire. And, and the crazy part is like, you know, I'm not really on, like, I have the, the guys who like yeah. handle stuff. Yeah. I'm not really seeing, actively seeing it. Yeah. But but for me to see it when I'm not even actually actively in, that's yeah. crazy. Everybody be doing it, bro. Yes. Who was your first guest? My first guest that I had on my podcast? Yeah. Was Bobby Porter's. Bobby Porter's. Bobby Porter's, so. bro. And I, and, and I got to bring him for season two. It's just so crazy with the, with the schedule we have. You got to bring him back. And, oh, my God. Such man, a great guy. dude. What up, BP? That's a great team. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to the underdog. The man underdog. The underdog. Keep it real. Now, the, this is the, the two questions. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to ask him that. All right. Right. So this is from a... I don't want to say her name because she... she Anonymous. Anonymous. So the one is, did he hurt when you fell from heaven? That was one. They they just have a crush on you, but they, it's normal. Yeah. I mean, you play in the NBA. Yeah. Did it hurt when I came from good. heaven? <laughs> did it hurt when you fell? From, yeah, basically yeah. give you a, you know. Yeah. And the and the other question was. <laughs> oh no, bro! No, I'm not gonna say pause. I don't. I don't yeah. care. Okay, how do I learn? How do I learn how to stroke it like you, bro? Oh, <laughs> talking my about the shot. God. Talking about the shot. Talking about the shot, bro. Talking about the shot. Talking about the shot. Hey, man, you gotta put it in <laughs> repetition. Whether you're talking about the shot or not, you gotta put it in repetition. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're ready to go. <laughs> and then we have like great questions as like you know Milwaukee and yeah. how you love Milwaukee and everything. And I love Milwaukee, man. I just um, we had an event tonight, obviously. And I met some great people, man. It's it's a lot of great people here, and um, underrated, very underrated. underrated. Um, I know 
people get caught in the mix of it's been in the Midwest, but I've lived in the Midwest my whole career except for LA. So um I'm I'm blessed to be here, man. Um I'm getting used to the snow. Like I, I love the snow to be honest with you. Obviously I need some sun, but but other than that, man, I got some good golf courses. I don't know if you okay. golf or not, but um shout out to the golfers out here in Milwaukee. Come, you know, holla at me if you wanna get a couple <laughs> swings in. Uh, so just trying to um, enjoy that and you know stay low key. That's my yes. main purpose right now. Just yes. stay low key. Yeah.